So to my beautiful and amazing royals of Africa, now let's continue with locating the children of the next patriarch. All right, the next patriarch we are locating the children is Ya Azeli. Okay, so my dear children, for your convenience, same rule of thumb, I have listed the different Bantu names, okay? As you could see there, Bantu and Zulu. So, same rule of thumb, if one of these names appear anywhere around you, know that it's referring to the patriarch Ya Azele, also known as Asher, okay? So we have Ashel, Azel, Azele, Azer, Azeri, Azeli, Azelia, Ayel, all right, Ayeli, Ayelia, Ayer, Ayere, Ayeri, Ayeria, okay? Now, uh, like I, I previously mentioned in a previous video, I told you guys that our elders tells us that Ya Azele, from his lineage, we get our best chefs, all right? So our elders add by telling us that the children of Ya Azele were the best domestic workers you could have. They are very peaceful in nature and uh, their kingdoms did not have any army. And uh, the historical evidence of them on the continent, this is one of the tribes that was literally wiped out. So with the background information about who they were, we know that it wasn't a warrior tribe. You know, our elders tells us that other kingdoms, you know, will travel to Ya Azele's different kingdoms to hire domestic workers and stuff like that. So there were no drama, they, like, they are one of the most peaceful ones of our group. So they got almost wiped out, okay, from the continent. Our elder tells us that it's very seldom that you bump into one of them, you know, those who answer their last name and stuff. So this is how we know because we did our own census. We know who are still around and who are not, or who are barely there now. So they're, they're very rare. This is one of those tribes. Now, my dear children, note, I put the location abroad where I have the historical evidence, where his descendants were taken to, all right? Right. So, my foundings, uh, as you could see, we have America, of course, head of the gang, Canada, and Cuba. So I left this in white just to mark a kind of difference. Yes, we also found his descendant in Pakistan, Yemen, and Bangladesh, but this study is really focusing more on the transatlantic so-called slave trade. That's the one I'm focusing more on. So the most recent one. And as you could see, contrary to the other tribe, they are almost exclusively in America. And as we will go through the location, you will understand why. Nobody got lost. The tribes of Ya Azele, these coward European, you know, these are the kind of wars they love go against an armed people. They got conquered, I believe, one of the first ones. Now, let's go to the different location where we can locate Ya Azele. If Ya Azele is the son of Africa, although his descendants were practically wiped out from the continent, nevertheless, the landmark of where his people live, some of them still stand there. So let's go and discover. Let me show you around, around our village where our forefathers you know, walked on. So if we go to Sudan, in Sudan we found Ashel. All right, Ashel, I believe, is his Zulu name. In Nigeria, Nigeria has all of them. You found a bit of everybody. That's why the Nigerian people are very powerful people. I mean, they have all of us, all the tribes. You found them there. And these Europeans have been telling us for a long time that our brothers in West Africa are not Bantu. But my study came to lead me to see that those land, which is, which is former Sudan, these are the land of especially Gada, 
Neftali, Zabulali, and then, you know, they were found in these areas, but they told us, oh, they're not bound to. Never, never rely on your oppressor to tell you your history. Let's continue. So in Nigeria, we found Asheleke in Oyo, Oyo State. All right, still in Nigeria and still in Oyo, we found Asheru. Now in Jigawa, we found Asherifa. And as you know, all these are derivatives. Each tribe has their own way of calling them. Just like you, I bet you, you have different names in your mother's house. It's not an American thing or Jamaican thing. It's an African thing, okay? So let's continue. In the federal capital, we found Ashera. Let's find more location of Ya Azele on the continent of Africa. In Zambia, we have Azele in the northern western. Now, note, we're bumping into the first French conquered land which is the today known as Benin we found Azeleleji all right in the Collins in the province called Collins back to Nigeria we have Azel in Benu now let's go to Niger in Agadez we found Azel now Morocco as you see I still list the the land that these Arabs took from us just so that you know the lands where you find the landmarks where their lands okay over there in Morocco, we found Azel in Sous Massa. All right, we also found Azelem in Gelmin S. Smara. Now let's go to Algeria, another stolen land from the uh, by the Arabs. Okay, so in Algeria, also we found Azeli in Tamagase, and in Lizi, we found Azeluaz. All these are derivatives of the name of our beloved patriarch. Now let's continue. Still in Africa, under other names, we found them under Ayel, all right? In Ghana, Ayelidia, in Upper East. Okay, now let's fly over to Gabon. Bolo, my people. In the province, Moyenogwe, we have Azeriba. Now let's fly over to Uganda. Our people in Uganda, in Masindi, we find Ayera. And in the region called Apak, we found Ayer. Now let's go back to our Nigerian brothers, okay? Let's fly over to Nigeria. Kedu, my people in Nigeria. Kedu or Haro, whichever one you answer. <laughs> in Edo, we found Ayeri Ubiane. In Benu, we found Ayer. In Benu, again, we found Ayertio. Algeria, we have Ayelum in Tamangase. Now, let's follow the transatlantic slave road. All right, in the diaspora, like I previously said, he's almost exclusively located in America and Canada. Under Asher, our elders told us that wherever we see a translated name, they're still referring to him. So I took Asher because I looked them up in wherever these Europeans came from. They don't have that relation with him. They, they don't know him, so he doesn't have landmarks in colonial Europe, wherever they come from, okay? So in America, I found our people hidden under Asher and his Zulu name Ayer. So let's jump in. All right. So let's start with Asher. In America, so in Ohio, we have Asher Lake. In Maryland, Asher Glade. In Kentucky, we have two occurrences one Asher Knob, one Asher Fort. In Arizona, we have Asher Hills. Now let's continue. Azel in America. In Pennsylvania, I found one occurrence of a derivative of his Kikongo name. We found a Zelta in Pennsylvania. And trust and believe there's no city called a Zelta in Europe. Now let's continue in America. Still, Oklahoma has a share. Kentucky has a share. Arkansas got, has a share. Arizona got a share. Missouri got a share bill. They must really love a share right all these my people were batches of the children of the patriarch asher all right now let's continue with the diaspora location america another layer now under a year his zulu name all right so in washington we have a year vermont we have a year hill pennsylvania a year hill 
Oregon, a year Lake. In Ohio, we have a year's bill. All these places are places where they held our people as slaves. 